Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. Today we are on version 11.3.6 and we are doing a snowfall test. So I'm going to uh, engage from now. And uh, yeah, we are currently getting snow. It's probably the last one or two times that we're getting snow right now in this season. So we are coming up to spring soon. I'm just going to bump down the speed just a little bit here, just to keep it at uh, 0% uh, of autopilot speed, just to keep it a fair game for FSD. So the snow is probably not going to clear, uh, I mean, like, um, prob it's not going to be probably filling up the whole surface of the, of, the, of the street, but we are getting a little bit of a snow haze, as you can see, and obviously snow hitting the uh, windshield as well. So far not much change happening. We are probably going to do a, a small version or a short version of our um, of our uh, residential route test. We are a little bit slow over here 40, 40 speed limit, 40 kilometer speed limit because of the the sign that uh, tells us to to drive at 40 kilometers per hour for the curve and right now it's not really choosing the right lane over here so hopefully it does and it is changing signals and it is realizing that this is actually two lanes it normally struggles with this with snow so very slow here on this right turn so see how it does this left turn over here nicely done Slows down quite a bit for this yield intersection over here. I, I definitely feel like I'm getting the um, the wheel nag a little bit more than the usual. Now that I'm getting used to less wheel nag. Alright, so this is our first destination. getting a little bit too close to that car over there it's coming to a stop over here which is not very good okay, it's quite clear on the left and the right there is a car coming up from our right hand side but it's uh, not too not too fast over here. And then coming up to this right turn over here, there's a parked vehicle right after this turn. Okay, and we are getting the sign that full self driving may be degraded. Let's see how it attempts this left turn on this intersection over here. So I wouldn't mind if it was a little bit more towards the left. And this is coming up to become an unprotected left turn. Just a slight hesitation there, but follows through. I didn't have to tap on the accelerator or, or anything like that.
very slow takeoff here and I'm going to tap on the accelerator accelerator I really find version 11.3.6 to be very slow at taking off at uh, most of the intersections that I'm taking off from, to be honest. Let's see how it attempts this uh, unprotected left turn over here. Good project trajectory on the tentacle and then uh, a signaling. Notices there's cars that it needs to wait for. Creeps in quite a bit to the intersection. Very nicely done. It's very smooth. Really like that. There's a person in that uh, truck over there. So the car does actually shimmy a little bit over the yellow lane or yellow dividing line. Tight, tight over here, tight area. And the car does actually do okay. Just a little bit of hesitation, but no issues at all. Coming up to this quiet neighborhood and street, it does come to almost a complete stop, which uh, I'm not really liking. Getting a bit too close here to this uh, parking lane, and yeah, I think it's coming up to a complete stop because of the, uh, the end of the navigation. Okay, so that's not too bad. Very wide turn over here, that's really not necessarily required. And then getting close to that parked car so yeah though that behavior I'm, I'm not a fan of and I've seen it so many times and that really bugs me in uh, especially when uh, when it's snowing as well and in uh, snow conditions when the f when the streets filled with snow so we're coming up to a yield sign it does come to a complete pause and then starts creeping forward. Doesn't really check for visibility on the right hand side. We are coming to a, a very busy area right now. This is where kids are dropping off their, I mean, parents are dropping off their kids over here. So uh, yeah, it's coming up to a stop here. That's not really required. So I'm going to tap the accelerator to get it to proceed. I'm just wondering where that pedestrian is going to be crossing, but uh, seems to be we are at the clear. Uh, why is it coming up to? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to tap the accelerator over here. That wasn't very good. So the car really jumped in right into the middle of the intersection and then decided not to go ahead because of, there's a car that's coming in and it was turning into to our area so it really would have been like a sticky situation so I had to tap the accelerator over there and we are coming up to a speed zone that was not detected so I am bumping down the speed And of course I have to bump the speed back up again because it does not detect the end of the speed the, the school speed zone so it should be really picking up this uh, right turning lane over here yeah, and it's being terrible at doing that. So unnatural. So unnatural. It even confused the car behind us. And it should be able to go at... So it should be able to go here. I'm going to give it a tap. 
it's being very sluggish and there's a car behind me so I'm just uh, a little bit conscious about that I'm tapping on the accelerator over here. The car is not, does not seem to want to accelerate. It's being very sluggish this morning. I'm not sure if the light snow conditions are causing that, but uh, there we go. Alright, I am going to tap the accelerator. There is someone right behind me and Yeah, and the car was not really responding, so And we really needed to make that turn because that car was right behind me. Um yeah, just to wrap up I guess um not a lot of issues really to be honest, but the car is actually a little bit less sluggish or like more sluggish sorry with its maneuvers and it's taking off and, and all that stuff I'm, I'm not really I don't really understand why it might be because of that the sign for that uh, FSD beta being degraded or full self-driving being degraded is coming in and out not it's not very constant it's inconsistent really I mean, this is such a slow takeoff. I really do not understand why are we taking off at 20 kilometers per hour for this uh, for this stop intersection over here. Anyway, yeah. So this was version 11.3.6 with snowfall. Please hit like and subscribe to my video and my channel. It'll help me a lot. Hope you folks have a nice day. There is one more stop sign coming up along with this. Uh, crossing uh, cross intersection over here for pedestrians that is lit on but it's probably not going to stop for any pedestrians here because they are past so please uh stay tuned to watch this uh, stop turn over here and i'll probably be signing off i'm sorry about the audio quality over here i'm recording through the gopro not through the usual microphone that i have just because the batteries died so Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. I am going to tap the accelerator just a bit over here. It was going for a complete pause again. Very sluggish, very sluggish. Okay. Having a good one. See you in the next one.